Okay, let's do a little bit more of our data visualization uh, with our World War II fighter uh, fighter data set. So, or the World War II planes data set. So I'm still working on this as I was working on it in a previous video. We're just going to continue on this. So a quick review, we can always go to the statistics and look at the active data set for the summaries. And it'll just give us a nice summary of all of what happens with the active data set airplane wing engine fuselage tail and type now remember wing engine fuselage and tail are the number of shots taken to each part of these planes that had come back okay we can also go to our statistics uh, let's go to numerical summaries and this time let's take a look at the fuselage so we can go to statistics we'll do mean standard deviation interquartile range bend frequency counts and the quantiles go ahead and click OK and we can see our results uh, we can see that it has been them nicely in steps of five it's got the counts for each of them the total number of counts and we can see the IQR which is six and let's talk a little bit about this so these five numbers are called the five number summary and they represent the minimum which is zero percent the maximum 100%, the median, which is 50%, and 25 and 75% represent what are called Q1 and Q3, which is quartile 1 and quartile 3. So these effectively break the data up into steps of 25%. And we can, we can visualize those five numbers with what is called a box plot. So let's go make one. Go back to your Arcmando window, go to graphs, box plot, Let's click Fuselage. Let's go to Options. Identify outliers automatically, that's fine. Let's say, yeah, Y axis should be number of shots. Graph, let's take this as Fuselage. Fuselage shots from sample, and we can click OK. Let's take a look at our graph, and we say, OK, these are our number of shots from the sample. OK, so it looks like that we have a couple of outliers here numbers that are kind of really far away from where our data actually is okay let's do a couple of things here so our minimum we can look at it in here was six and if we go back and we look at at our minimum here it's like actually that value was considered an outlier okay so what is an outlier then an outlier let me type this out for you is one 1 1.5 times the IQR IQR and we need to either add that to so we do Q3 plus 1.5 IQR or Q1 minus 1.5 IQR and so if our points are above or below that value we get outliers so these guys were recognized as outliers and our max and min line here on this box block aren't like the absolute maximum and minimum values that we saw but the boundaries on where we see the outliers now if the minimum value is within that boundary then the line will be at the minimum value if the minimum value is outside that boundary then it will show us where the boundary is for outliers to occur okay but let's talk about this five number summary or these box plots a little bit so each of these areas represent 25 percent of our data or where 25 percent of the happenings are are occurring so we know that this is called the middle uh, 50 percent this is also known as the iqr the inner quartile range uh, these uh, this helps us understand like what is really going on are the majority of the planes coming back from maybe this uh this fight that was happening or this battle and it was somewhere between like 23 shots and maybe 17 shots is where the middle 50 percent these guys were really high these guys were really low um, so once again these five number summaries are really helpful to, to help us see that that like the upper 25 percent and the lower 25 percent are pretty spread out compared to how tight the middle 50 percent is let's uh let's take another look at a different box plot so let's go ahead and let's do the uh, engine one so let's go to box plot let's go to engine and 
we will need to change the graph title from fuselage to engine and click OK. So this one's a little simpler because there are no outliers here. So all of these lines actually correlate with its five number summary. Let's do a five number summary real quick. We can do statistics, summaries, numerical summaries, click on engine. We already have the quartiles or the quantile selected. Click OK. And we can see here that the minimum was zero, maximum was eight, and we can see where all these lines are, one, three, and four. So we have a line at one, we have a line at three, and we have a line at four representing Q1, the median, and Q2. So our commander has the ability to recognize those outliers for you automatically. And so if there are outliers, you'll see them as circles above or below the maximum and minimum line. We learned about the IQR. So it's either, um, so the IQR is Q3 minus Q1. Q3 minus Q1, that gives you the absolute range and it represents where the middle 50% of the data is lying. We learned what an outlier definition is. It's either Q1 minus 1.5 IQR or Q3 plus 1.5 IQR. So hopefully that helps out a little bit with the box plots and, uh, and how they can help us visualize their, our distributions and our five number summary.